Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. Is your video game experiencing storage delays? Our next guests are working at optimizing video games, giving players greater immersion. And after all, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Getting into the game a whole lot more. First of all, we have with us the producer at Perfect World, Kelly Dickinson. Kelly, welcome into tomorrow. Thanks, Dave. It's good to be here. It's a pleasure to have you with us. And the initiatives manager at the Intel Storage Technologies Group, Chris Seleski. Hey, Chris, how are you? Good. Thanks, Dave. Great to be here. It's a pleasure to have you with us as well. Now, Perfect World publishes Blacklight Retribution, right? Yes, that is correct. Ah. It's a free-to-play shooter coming out uh, in the wintertime. Oh, very good. A free-to-play shooter. So folks can get into it and, and have some fun and not have to pay to do this. Exactly. There's no cost of entry. So. Ah, well, that's kind of neat. Well, how does computer storage affect games? Because I know in the intro talking about that, and I'm sure a lot of our audience is saying, yeah, that's a problem. So how does it affect games and how do we resolve it? Oh, right, well Dave, I work in the storage technologies group and we're exploring new and emerging faster storage technologies and we uh, research the solid state drives and that replaces the hard drive in your computer which is a rotating media with solid state non-volatile memory. And one of the interesting thing we noticed is, noticed is that during gameplay there was a lot of I.O. and we became curious about what the game engine demands were. And I.O. meaning input, output, Input all these output. activities going on. Yeah. Right, because it used to be in the old days, you would load the game uh, in, into memory. And, yeah. But now, the levels have become so big that you're, you're loading it from drive. So faster storage can make a difference, and that's when we approached Perfect World and Zombie Studios about whether certain optimizations were possible. Uh, and in fact, they are. Yeah, so it turns out as the level art gets more detailed and as the games become more complex, the game engine now is streaming a lot of content from the hard drive. So, of course, recently we've had um, Intel releasing, basically starting the Intel solid state drive you know, market began yeah. with them in the consumer space. And I mean, I, I, my latest laptop is, is SSD, and I'll never go back. I mean, talk about you know, boot up in six, eight seconds, and, and just accessing everything is, is unbelievable. Right. And it costs more, no doubt, SSD, and it'll certainly level itself out at some point, but it's worth it. Yeah, essentially we, we want to bring that same experience of I, I don't want to go back to my old computer with a rotating magnetic hard drive. We, we can do that for gaming as well by basically bringing all of the, the, the limitations that developers in the past were just used to dealing with because there, were no, there was no better option for storage. Mm -hmm. Whereas now we have these options. So with Blacklight we've been able to take, for example, the texture quality and drop in textures that were authored the way they were by the artist and then use that in the game because everything is streaming from the drive now in, these le in the game levels. So the fidelity just goes up right there, a notch up there. So it's safe to say a major difference in, uh, in these kinds of things? If you were an artist, you would, you would notice it. Um, as the game player, it's just going to be that extra bit of speed, that extra bit of, uh, of fidelity that you'll get by running the game with a solid-state hard drive. There's a good point. As the game player, you shouldn't notice because you just want to keep playing, right? Well, <laughs> it's, it's one of those things that in the background is, is there in your mind. I mean, if you played the game in 640 by 480 resolution at the lowest settings and then you turn it up to the maximum, you would notice the difference. And yeah. every port along the way, there's also a difference as well. So I, I notice it. I, I think players will see the difference. We're also doing a much more, uh, much more obvious content where with streaming video into the game that is also not possible on, with the game running on a regular hard drive. So. Right, so the, the faster boot times and the faster load times you were talking about, those are benefits you get for free. Yeah. And Perfect World actually went a step beyond that and said, what if we made certain optimizations? What if we enabled new features by detecting a solid state drive and multiple streaming videos within the game atmosphere make it much more immersive. Uh, Blacklight Retribution is going to be a futuristic game, and that was something you could only do with a, a solid state drive. So are you actually then detecting if I'm playing the game using SSD? Correct. And, and therefore optimizing? It's, it's not at, at your end. It's not SSDs at, at your end delivering the game. Correct. The game, the game detects it with, through an internal test feature, and then it yeah. enables this content if it, if it detects the drive is capable of uh, performing. Wow. And How do games, it know? <laughs> games for years have, game engines for years, have detected what kind of graphics processor you have. Uh, so we're going beyond that and saying, well, now you need to think about storage I.O. Yeah, performance. Wow. Just when gamers thought it was, everything was fine, when they had the best graphics cards they could and all that. Then uh, you could see more. a bottleneck somewhere else. Yeah. Right. Oh, exactly. This is definitely the future of where we think things will go as worlds become larger, more immersive, and game engines need to stream this content from the disk because it's just not enough, you know, you're, so much graphics that need to get loaded 
it's much better to do it this way. Now, somebody told me that the game has built-in tests as well. Is that what we're talking about? The, the test meaning, you know, whether or not it's an SSD or, or a, a normal hard drive. Normal. <laughs> we can almost say an older hard drive now compared to SSD. Yeah, so there, there is a check that will run in the game. Players can actually run it themselves or it'll run automatically. But you can see the performance. It does a performance metric. And essentially, if you pass the requirements, it will enable that content. And it's only possible to do it with, with an Intel Solid State drive. Gotcha. Now, Blacklight Retribution, you mentioned the winter. Uh, what kind of platforms will it be working on? So we'll be coming for PC uh, exclusive right now, and the beta will be this fall with the release in the winter. So it's coming up real soon and Very free to play. Cool. Excellent. Yeah, the free to play part we want to make sure and remind everybody. And you'll let us know when it's actually released, so we'll yep. get it on the air as well and say, hey, remember we talked to the guys back at IDF. It's, it's available now. It's playblacklight.com. <laughs> Okay, very cool. And of course, if you've got a solid state drive, you're going to notice an incredible difference. Definitely. All right, love it. First of all, you can visit perfectworld.com for more info as well and intel.com. Gentlemen, thanks for spending a few minutes with us here at IDF. You're doing some fun things, so keep it fun and we'll keep talking about it. Thank you. It's great yeah, to be thanks, here. Thanks, Dave. Terrific. We're back with more from San Francisco and the Intel Developer Forum. I'm Dave Graveline on the Advanced Media Network. Be sure to hit us up at intotomorrow.com. Thank you.